Yeah, city spokesperson said that the city will not change the ordinance that it passed last month since the city's ban only goes into effect if there is still room at the local shelters. A caveat the city of Boise, Idaho did not include in its argument. Despite the fact that he works, George Allen is homeless and says at night finding a place to sleep is always a challenge. I currently don't have a place to stay. Where do you sleep at night? Wherever I can. Allen is one of the thousands of homeless people in Clark County struggling with finding a place to sleep. This is not just a Las Vegas problem. It's a national problem. The problem went all the way to the Supreme Court, which upheld a ruling today from the Ninth Circuit Court. The lower court ruled that homeless people do have the right to sleep on city streets when no other option is available. We think that that is um, a, the right resolution. It's a, a good resolution to ensuring that homeless people are not going to be criminalized for being homeless. Today's ruling from the Supreme Court comes only a month after the Las Vegas City Council passed an ordinance that will make it a misdemeanor for the homeless to sleep on city streets. In a statement to Fox 5 following the Supreme Court's decision, a city spokesperson said, the city of Las Vegas' ordinance will not be enforced unless there are beds available for the homeless to use, which was a key point made by the Ninth Circuit and a caveat that was not in the Boise camping ordinance. We think that they should repeal, and I would call for the repeal of this ordinance. Allen will stage a hunger strike on Tuesday in front of City Hall to call attention to the city's ordinance, hoping also to raise money for housing. Somebody has to stand up and say, we need housing. And if this can help bring attention to the fact that uh, the homeless need housing, then so be it. The city of Las Vegas is considering another bill that would make it a misdemeanor if anyone interrupts city crews from cleaning sidewalks. Homeless advocates uh, argue that this is just another way that the city is trying to criminalize the homeless. Of course, the city denies those claims, saying that the new bill has more to do with sanitation and public health. 